So us watch people, we're neurotic people, we're never satisfied and we're always questioning whether or not we made the right decision. Uh, and so today I want to talk about potentially swapping the dial on this 36 millimeter Wimbledon dial Datejust. Now that I've had this for a couple of weeks, um, I am really happy with it. I think it looks amazing, it fits amazing, but I'm also wondering, should I have gotten the Blue Dial Datejust? Um, the Blue Dial Datejust, it does have a more sunburst effect, and it definitely does have a darker dial, which is something that I'm realizing I prefer. Um, there's nothing wrong with this dial. Uh, the Blue Datejust dial is a little bit more sought after, uh, this one being the second most sought after and so I'm just wondering Would it be possible to swap out the dial on this uh, Wimbledon because I'm not getting on another wait list for another year uh, To pick up a day just so I wanted to discuss some pros and cons of swapping out dials I don't think it's kosher to swap out dials because the card and the serial number will never match and I suppose it's okay if you swap it back to its original dial as long as you keep it. But um, those things can always go missing, number one. Uh, number two, I'm also kind of wondering if it would even void the warranty. I don't suppose it would if you have a good watchmaker, um, but it could. Um, and then the other reason I would kind of err on the, on the side of caution is I wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable taking this to a watchmaker uh, to get it done because I don't know if they're going to be swapping out parts from the authentic Datejust with maybe like a Frankenstein or a fake Datejust. So those are a couple things that I'm a little bit nervous about, but um, on the plus side, like it should be pretty easy to swap out a dial uh, and change it to a blue one and just enjoy a blue Datejust. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a dial. It's pretty cosmetic. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult, um, but it would be hard to locate one. So, uh, and because the blue one is more sought after, I believe that it would cost a lot more too. I think on eBay, I was seeing some go for like a thousand dollars, between 500 and a thousand dollars. And those are the old variation dials. It would be hard to source a 2022 dial, um, for this date just because think about it like why why would there be just loose dials hanging around uh it's either from a stolen watch or like a water damage watch i'm i'm thinking so it would be hard to source one of those dials so um yeah let me know in the comments below if you think swapping out dials is frowned upon uh, if you would ever do it and if you did which colors or variations you would do it in. I'm thinking the blue one uh, would be a cool uh, dial to get. I also very much like the palm dial uh, and I like the Jubilee blue dial. Um, most people don't know this dial exists, but I'll put up a picture over here where you can see um, the pattern on this dial. I think it's interesting and it's different and could be a cool collectible one day. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm pretty happy with my slate dial. Um, even though it just looks a little bit generic. And uh, if I'm honest, I think the 36 millimeter Roman dial um, is a little bit crowded for this case size. It does look a lot better on the 41, I believe, but still, it's a date just, it's a Wimbledon, and I think it looks awesome.